Southend Wheelers Cycling Club is open to cyclists of all abilities and ages. There are regular social and training rides, on and off road rides, youth coaching and social events. Training and social rides take place every Sunday, meeting at Newton Village Hall at 10am. For more information, visit www.southendwheelers.org. Rochford 100 Rugby Football Club meet at the Clubhouse Magnolia Road, SS4 3AD. Matches on Saturdays and Sundays, training during the week. <coughs> Family orientated rugby club with teams for everyone from under sixes upwards, with coaching and team management for each side. Contact 01702 544 021. Rochford Disability Football Academy meets at Cedar Hall School, Hart Road, SS7 3UQ, that's in Thundersley. Adults 11am till noon, youth noon till 1pm each Saturday. Coaching and competitive opportunities for young people and adults with special participation needs. Contact 01702 207 217. Westwood Karate Academy. Meet at Rayleigh Leisure Centre every Wednesday 6pm to 7pm for children, 7pm to 8pm for adults, and Sundays 10am to 11am for children. They also meet at Clements Hall Leisure Centre every Friday 7.30 to 8.30 for children and adults, and Sundays 11.30 to 12.30 for children and adults. Catering for adults and children of all ages from four years, and the first four weeks are absolutely free. Contact 01702-559804. Rochford Bowls Club. When the season runs from October to March, the indoor short mat bowls club play internal leagues, internal and external competitions, friendly matches and organise social events. Players of all ages and abilities are welcome. Contact 01702-230028. Rayleigh Leisure Indoor Bowls Club meets at Rayleigh Leisure Centre, Priory Chase, SS6 9NF. New or existing bowlers of all ages or ability are welcome. The four-rink facility is available at any time the Leisure Centre is open. Coaching is available for anyone wishing to try out the sport prior to joining the club. Contact 01268 780 Fitzweimark Badminton Club meets in the David Cox Sports Hall, the Fitzweimark School, Hockley Road. Club night on Tuesday evening is open to members and invited guests from 7.30 to 10pm. Youth coaching for 12 to 16 year olds is on Tuesday and Friday evenings 6pm to 7.30pm. The club has a home venue of five courts and is always on the lookout for new players. Contact 01268 771914 Southend Hospital Public Meetings Find out more about the hospital at public meetings around South East Essex There will be clinical presentations on subjects such as arthritis prostate cancer, HRT and heart pacemakers after which the Chief Executive will talk about the hospital's plans for the future the next meeting will be Wednesday the 25th of January at 1.15pm. It will be at the Yacht Club at Brandy Hole, Pools Lane, Hullbridge, SS5 6QB. Everyone's welcome, including children, and to ensure that adequate refreshments are available, please call the free phone number 0800 018 or email foundation.members at southend.nhs.uk to confirm your attendance. Clubs and Societies The Roach Art Group meets on Wednesday evenings between 7.30 and 9.30 at St. Teresa's Church Hall, Ashington Road, Rochford. That's just at the rear of the church. Beginners are especially welcome, but all abilities are catered for at this friendly club who work in a variety of media at a venue with good lighting and facilities. Reasonable fees apply. Details on request. Contact Christine on 01702 586336 or John on 07933 263930. 
There's an art class with Paul Olcock on Tuesday afternoons, 1pm to 3pm at the Women's Institute Hall, Bellingham Lane, Rayleigh. Learn to paint and draw using your favourite mediums. Beginners and experienced students are welcome. Contact 01702 615475 or email paulandred at sky.com for further details. The cost is £6 per session. Rayleigh Age Concern meet at the Todman Centre in Castle Road, Rayleigh, five days a week, 52 weeks a year, between 10.30am and 2pm. Rayleigh Age Concern is eager for more older people to attend and enjoy its daily luncheon club. Home-cooked, fresh food made on the premises is provided. Transport to and from the venue can also be arranged for a moderate cost. Entertainment and social events are regularly arranged. Contact 01268 775380. Community Centre. Stanbridge Memorial Hall will be available from January 2012 for anyone to hire morning, afternoon and or evening sessions and it will be open seven days a week. For more information or bookings, please contact the clerk to Stanbridge Parish Council on 01702 555347 or stanbridgepc at batesteam.co.uk. Rayleigh Market. Rayleigh Market is relocating to the taxi rank from Wednesday the 7th of December between 8am and 2pm. The taxi pick-up point will be at the lay-by near the clock and the taxi drop-off point at the lay-by near the Crown Pub. Local Sporting Memories Wanted Rayleigh Windmill is now a nationally accredited visitor attraction and houses an exhibition space on the second floor. The windmill is open from April to September and attracts thousands of visitors every year. In the past few years, the windmill exhibition floor has displayed many exhibitions of local groups from girl guides and local artists to local history groups. Once again, the Council would like to invite local community groups to come forward to promote the work of their group and the opportunities to participate. Next season, the Council's Leisure Services team would like to include a sports theme as we look forward to London 2012. To celebrate this, we are especially interested in hearing from local sports clubs that would like to get involved in our exhibition showing the history of local sporting life. Does your club have old pictures or trophies showing success through the years? Perhaps your club has other old memorabilia showcasing its history. If this sounds like your club, then we want to hear from you. If you are interested in exhibiting at the windmill, please contact the leisure team on 01702 546-366 or email leisure at rochford.gov.uk And now we have some council committee dates for you. The meetings are all at the Civic Suite in Rayleigh at 7.30pm. The Review Committee on the 10th of January 2012. The Executive Committee on the 11th of January. Development Committee, 26th of January. Council Meeting, 31st of January. Review Committee, 7th of February. Executive, 8th of February. Council Meeting, 21st of February. Development Committee, 23rd of February. Council again, 28th of February. Review Committee, 6th of March. West Community Forum, 13th of March. Executive, 14th of March. Audit Committee, 27th of March. Development Committee, 29th of March. Review Committee, 3rd of April. Executive, 4th of April. Standards Committee, 12th of April. Council, 17th of April. Development Committee, 19th of April and there's one meeting that will be held at the Lecture Theatre Hawthorne Centre Rochford Hospital Union Lane Rochford SS4 1RB that will be on the 20th of March 2012 at 7pm and that's the East Community Forum. 
For more information, contact Member Services on 01702 318140. A Christmas message from the Chairman. Being Chairman of the Council has been a much bigger experience than I could ever have imagined. It has been amazing to meet so many people who give up so much time and energy to help and support other people. To meet people whose only motive for doing what they do is knowing that it's the right thing to do has been truly humbling, and it really is quite an eye-opener to learn that there are so many groups, clubs and organisations working away in all areas of our community. I have been particularly keen to give opportunities for the talents of our secondary school pupils to be showcased at events. I can assure you that there is a wealth of talent and skill in that group of young people that should make us all feel very confident about the future. My fiancé, Pat, and I have really enjoyed all our visits so far this year. If I can help in supporting any activity that you are organising, then please let me know. We have been working hard to share our experiences as we go out and about to other parts of Essex. We have certainly noticed that visitors to our district are very complimentary and indeed quite envious of the district's natural beauty facilities, wonderful sense of community and support that we offer to one another. In October we celebrated our Sports Personalities of the Year and look forward to celebrating a special Citizen of the Year in 2012. If you know an unsung hero, please let me know. Christmas is now almost with us. I do hope that you are all able to enjoy a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Simon Smith, Councillor Simon Smith, the Chairman of the Rochford District Council. These are some of the examples of the Chairman's visits. Foulness Bike Ride. Chairman Simon Smith was invited by the Rotary Club of Fort Bay to start the cyclists alongside the Mayor of Southend, Councillor David Norman, for the Foulness Bike Ride to raise money for the Southend-on-Sea station of the Royal National Lifeboat Institution. The chairman and his fiancée, Pat, decided to sign up and participate in the fun of the 23-mile trip. Poster competition. The chairman met Grace Crook from Edward Francis Junior School to congratulate her for winning a poster competition organised by Rochford District Council. The competition was to design a poster to promote the benefits of healthy eating and not smoking and help raise levels of awareness of the issues for young people. Rochford Allotments The Rochford Allotments and Leisure Gardeners Association invited the chairman to their second annual show to officially open their flower and arts and crafts show. Holbridge Green Gym The chairman was pleased to accept an invitation from Holbridge Parish Council to their official opening of the Green Gym at Pools Lane Recreation Ground. Helping the Chairman try out the equipment is Essex County Councillor Elizabeth Hart and Councillor Angelina Marriott, Chairman of Holbridge Parish Council.